Hey, what's up everybody? It's Logan Lawson and we are back with another gear and beer audio review. Today I'm in my brother's basement, uh, Dave Lawson, a uh, fellow musician and uh, audio engineer. And we are going to be talking about some of uh, the gear that he likes to use in the studio and also some beer, of course. So, Dave? Uh, what, what kind of gear are we talking about today? Well, it's tough to pick one piece of gear because, you know, it's not like there's one secret weapon piece of gear. Really, it's sort of, for me, it's having a lot of options and sort of having the imagination and knowing, you know, if you imagining certain sounds and having the tools and the options to be able to, to make them happen is the most important thing. And having a good signal, just, you know, preamps and converters and all that stuff. But if you're talking about, well, first we should talk about beer. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that right now. Yeah. Um, what what beer are you drinking, Dave? I'm drinking the Dirty Bastard out of Grand Rapids Founders. All right. A little bit of a Scotch style ale. And I'm actually drinking um, Shorts Brew from Elk Rapids, and I'm drinking Soft Parade. Um, it's a high gravity ale fermented with blackberries, strawberries, raspberries, and blueberries. So um, it's a kind of fruity, but um, it's definitely a really good beer, and I'm. Pretty sure it's like 5% or even a little bit more than that. Yeah, mine's a little more than that. Yeah. yeah. It's feeling good. <laughs> right on. But what's, what we got hooked up today is the um, it's an old multi-echo. It's sort of, it's in the vein of a space echo. It's got a little few, few more bells and whistles on it. Um, it's by Multivox. Uh, you know, it's got a number of tape pads, diff, diff, like different repeating. It's got a re reverb on it. You know, it's just it's just a good tape echo. You get that sort of dirty sound. There's a lot of different um, plugins that do that sort of thing now, and, and you know, a lot of them are emulating this sort of thing. But there's you know, there's a certain dirtiness that just comes with the. You can hear the tape sound, and you know, the cool thing about having it hooked in with the patch bay and everything, it's just so easy to put anything through it. Um, you know, we just have like a guitar through it right now, just for the example. But you could put you know backing vocals, you could put drums through, you could put anything you want through it, just to get that old slapback sound, or just or you can just get super gnarly and have everything sound all like fucked up and do whatever you want with it. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. So. Definitely. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to go um, and do a little close-up time with the multi-echo and give you guys a uh, little, uh, you know, example, and uh, let's get into that. So you can, you know, get a clean sound. You can add some reverb in there. Take all the echo off. So you can, it could be, it could just be pure reverb. And then you can add in the delay. You got echo volume. You've got tone of the echo to EQ it. You've got the echo repeat. You got delay time. I mean, it's it's a lot of the same things you might see in a plugin, but the difference is what's going on up here. And you can see there's multiple tape heads, so that you can each one of these buttons is a different is activating a different head. fun little trick that I was playing with earlier is just when you change the delay time manually on any sort of delay unit you're going to change the pitch. Sometimes I keep the repeat pretty low and just keep it almost like a slapback, like rockabilly style, you know. Which is nice on vocals, you can get a lot of that sort of dirty 
tone, but just get the slap back, sort of like an early Elvis thing. You guys just got an overview of the Multivox uh, tape echo behind me. Um, very, very cool, very uh, awesome piece of gear, I think. Um, and there's definitely just something that, you know, tape, there's lots of tape emulators out there, but there's something of the real flutter of the actual tape and the, the multiple tape heads that's just, it's, you know, second to none almost, you know? Yeah, you, you plugins don't break the same way. Yeah, that is, that is true, absolutely. <laughs> Um, well, that's about it for us uh, for gear and beer audio reviews. Uh, thank you to Dave, my brother, for uh, showing us the Multivox, and that's about it. So uh, we're about to drink these beers and um, take it easy. <laughs>